side. What the fuck's going on? Why Wait, are we all on the all same side? Three of you got put on the same side? What the fuck? Yeah, we're all on the same side. That's fucking hilarious, actually. What the <laughs> fuck? What happened? Right. This this kill ain't happening. I died. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, welcome to Deb's office. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? How's it going? How's it going guys? It's Mavi here and today is episode 3 of RuneScape Progress. Uh, what you saw at the beginning there was me just dying banter fun at, uh, at Roch Trio. Now this episode is going to take a little bit of a turn how I'm going to lay things out. I think this is how I'm going to do it from now on. So right now this is just a voiceover of me doing Trio Rots is in the background and some of the loot I got. Uh, that's also going to be in the loot tab. I also made that pretty sweet intro. I'm really proud of that. I mean, I might make some tweaks to it a little bit here and there, but it's definitely going to do for now. I really enjoy it. I think it's really cool. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. So this is how I'm going to kind of start off and, and, and do voiceovers on some of my clips. I think this is going to be a lot more interesting for you guys to watch. Uh, please let me know. But thank you guys so much for your love and support. And uh, I hope you guys like episode three. Enjoy. So I totally realized that I didn't sell the loot tab from last episode so i'm actually building it onto this one fuck it um probably gonna finish a spider leg in this episode hopefully if i can get lucky tonight with the bottom path but uh let's take a look so this is from rod stellos and the Raxor from last uh last episode i actually can't believe i forgot to do it but um we just did like about an hour and a half probably's worth of trio rods because the new update makes it so you can go in with anybody. These are room bars. Uh, I'm going to talk about that in a second for my goal. So I was... Wow, holy shit. So there's 16 mil in here. Um, this makes up a lot. The energies are, are pretty expensive. And the onyx bolts are obviously fucking awesome. The rock tails are insane. Um, dra uh, Black Dragon Hide, Runite Ore, all these battle stuff. Like everything's fucking... It's great loot except the seeds in here. Um... So I'm just going to build that up until the end of this episode. But basically what I wanted to do is talk about what I'm going to be working on and my goal for like the beginning of the year. Um, so later tonight, I'm actually going to buy Premier Membership just because um, I want it really badly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for 120 smithing. So I'm 62 mil away, almost exactly 62 mil away from 120. And basically if I could do 1 mil XP a day, obviously that's like two months. Uh, there's going to be days where I can do more, there's going to be days where I can do less. But if I can average around 1 mil XP a day, I can easily do this in two months. So, like, by the end of January, probably, like, be like end of February is realistically when I'm going to get it. How's it going, guys? Um, if any of you guys are wondering how I'm going to get 120 smithing or how I'm going to go about it, this is basically what I'm doing right now. Uh, it's pretty efficient, I'd say so, for my standards, because I don't really do anything super efficient. But basically what I'm doing is I'm smithing moon plate legs with uh, crystal hammer, full blacksmith, portables, and I do have pulse cores out right now because they're kind of everywhere. You're getting them from like advent calendar and like all that stuff. So basically I'm getting really good XP per hour here. Like it's insane with the pulse cores. So right now I'm 42 point, almost five mil smithing. There's just, what's going on here? There's fireworks and everything. But basically what I'm doing is I'm using a portable forge and a yak. So basically I have crystal smithing or wasteless crystal smithing. It's a, uh, with your hammer and like, oh, what the hell? I clicked the wrong thing. So basically with a dungeoneering scroll, there's a chance that you get to save bars while smithing. I highly recommend that if you're going to do smithing or any of those scrolls, cause they're really good. And then with the crystal hammer is a better chance of it happening. Um, and then Portable Forge also gives a chance to save bars while smithing, so you can actually make profit like this. So what I've been doing is just following the market. Uh, normally it's been rune plate legs. See that one? I just like got a free pair. So uh, I'll show you. Wow, this is actually going to be really good. So normally uh, full inventory is like 389k, I think, of rune plate bar or yeah, rune bars. And this one I made 440k. So like I made like 60k off that so it depends on how much like sometimes you'll lose sometimes you profit but yeah it's about 300 yeah it's 389k 
and then um, if you want I mean you can price check after every time but that's just a waste of XP you'll break even uh, basically every time if not profit a little bit so this is how I'm getting 120 smithing it's really really efficient and I mean I'm gonna start doing my dailies and stuff so and I'll make a little bit of money so that's how I'm getting 120 smithing all right, so it's technically a new day. It's like five o'clock in the morning, and I haven't gone to bed yet. My sleeping schedule is completely fucked, but that's okay because my friends are online now, and I'm motivated to do some Araxor. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go camp path. Well, not camp, but I'm gonna do at least an hour of path three right now because I only need the bottom. If I get a bottom, this loot tab is gonna be fucking greasy. Uh, I did a couple hours of smithing, so I'm at 43.5 mil right now. I'm selling a bunch of uh, room plate legs here, so my cash stack will go up. I actually made about 750k an hour when I was smithing, which is pretty sweet. But yeah, I'm going to do some racks there. Alright guys, so I really like this kind of voiceover effect here. Um, basically a montage of what I'm going to do um, for this hour of Araxor. That one was kind of garbage. I got a Triss key and overloads. I didn't really feel like keeping it, so I just pet chanced it. And I didn't get it. But I really think it kind of boosts the overall quality of these episodes. It kind of speeds it up. It, it's not as boring. But I did get something pretty good. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. So the uh, the drop's coming up right here. Sorry. Yeah, feels bad, man. Oh my god. Oh fuck you, Mav! Seriously, <laughs> fuck you! Dude, this spider leg literally took me. This spider leg literally fucking took me. Like, like I'm not kidding, like 20 kills total. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow. That's fucking nasty. Alright, so I'm really happy about that. Because... That leg is now finished, and I got like onyx bolts, so this loot tab just got dramatically increased. So I'm really excited for this price check. I mean, it's gonna be probably around 150 mil, depending on like prices. Last time I heard they were on like 130. Um, I mean, we'll see, but that entire leg did not take long. So without the leg pieces, I'm at 19.6 with the leg let's go that's awesome so with the leg i'm at 159.2 oh my god that's awesome that loot tab is insane uh i also have room plate legs that are still selling so that's easily going to put me at 200 mil cash wow that's amazing uh i honestly i might go do my qbd reaper now just because i think i only have 10 of them and i I'm close to a Hydrix too, so a lot of money made in this episode, a lot of money. So yeah, basically before in that Araxor clip, I did finish my leg there, which was awesome. I'm just doing a, just doing a quick QBD Reaper here. Uh, who you heard in the background was my buddy Devin. He's, uh, he's a really good friend of mine. He's been friends with me for a really long time. Uh, I was talking to him on Discord. Him and my friend John were also doing bottom path Araxor. They both need bottoms, and you can, uh, you can really see his reaction uh, to that clip, so I thought it was really funny, so I definitely had to include that in the episode for sure. So I just added up all like the random stuff I got from that loot tab or from that QBD Reaper, and it was like <laughs> I just made like another two mil in ten kills, like that was insane. Um, I don't think I have enough for Hydrix. Oh, okay, tomorrow or tonight at reset, I'm gonna get a Hydrix, and then uh. Uh, loot tab's gonna be like almost 200 mil. Oh my god. Well, it'd be like 180 around there. Wow, that's insane. That's the biggest loot tab I've had in a really, really, really long time. This episode's sick. I like it. I like it. How's it going, guys? So it's a new day, and I refreshed my Reaper, and it's Armadil. I think it's like 30 something of them, or 20 something. I don't know. It'll, I can do it in about an hour. I, I, at least I fucking hope so, because I don't want to do it for more than an hour. But uh, I'm going to go kill Armadil. After this, I should have enough Reaper points to get uh, a Hydrix. And then my loot tab is going to be greasy. I'm going to be excited. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you with hopefully some Armadil drops. All right, so I finished that Armadil trip. And I actually got a Buckler out of that Reaper. So there's like an easy 2 mil. Um, so I'm going to toss this on the loot tab. I'm going to go get a Hydrix real quick. And then I'm going to price check the loot tab and it's gonna be fucking 
Awesome. So I'll be right back with this uh, with this Hydrix. All right. So here's the Hydrix. This is like another twenty something mil in the loot tab, which is awesome. Holy shit, twenty three mil. All right. Let's go price check this loot tab and see what we're working with here. This is gonna be fucking awesome. I've actually made a lot of money this episode, so I'm I'm really excited. All right, guys. So here's the final price check of the loot tab. I'm. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what it's going to be. There's still a little bit of stuff, but this is like the majority of it. Wow. Okay. So without the leg, I'm looking at 47 mil. Obviously with the leg, 187.35 mil, 36 mil for this episode. Honestly, that's been absolutely insane. This has been a crazy, crazy episode uh, because I finished my leg so fast. But, so that's it for episode 3. I'm going to go smith now. I'm going to go hang out. And then I'm probably going to do some racks or maybe some telos. We don't know yet. But if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to comment below. Also, please join my FC. Um, feel free to come in here and ask me questions and stuff. Also, Twitter and Twitch down below. If you guys want me to start streaming, let me know. I, I might get back into it because I used to stream before I came here uh, over on YouTube. But... Thank you guys so much for watching episode three. Uh, your feedback is greatly continued. Again, if you've if you've never seen this uh, series or if this is your first video of mine, there's a playlist where all these are in, um, and I'll keep that updated. Um, so don't hesitate to watch the rest. And uh, thank you guys so much. Take care.